All of our passengers will also be transported there so that they can leave on time for their flights and we will take care of everyone else to inform them for the coming days. I would like to take the next few minutes to explain to you what exactly happened and what we are about to do. The exact issue that the inspector has pointed out is with the runway extensions because it was a functioning aircraft before just the military ones. It has a shorter runway which was insufficient for the larger passenger planes that we were expected to have. So we had those extensions built and these were found to be crumbling. That means that very small pieces of concrete were falling off from the surface in an extremely rare circumstance that they may have been lifted by passing aircraft and may have hit something that would cause some damage or perhaps cause disruption to the flight alone. Now, as far as we know, none of the flights and operations have ever been influenced by anything like this at our airport, but we are closing it down nonetheless as a matter of precaution. Now, you do know that in the aviation industry, safety is something that we are very concerned with. And if it sounds familiar to you like a cliche, it's because you probably have been flying in your life and you've been hearing the flight attendant giving you the instructions how to close your belt, and they just keep saying that. Safety is our prime concern. And it is because we are very proud in this industry with our track record. That means from all the means of transportation available to mankind, we have by far the least accidents and casualties. And we're absolutely determined to keep it like this, especially here at Modin, at Modin Airport. We want to make it the safest airport possible. So we will be closing down and we will fix the situation in the meantime. Now how do we go about this? We have already notified our construction partner, the company who made the original extensions, a company called Airbus. And with their construction, they also guarantee the quality of, of their work. So as a matter of warranty work, they will come and make the necessary repairs. At this moment in time, I cannot give you an exact timeline yet, just because the people from Airbus just need to come in, see, assess the situation, and see what needs to be done and how long they will take to do it. Once I do have this information, I will invite you all back and, and give it to you so that you can give it to, to the public. But we, and I do want to stress it at this point, I have and we have here at the airport full confidence in our construction partner that they will be able to fix it very quickly and we will be back in business and back serving our customers. Ladies and gentlemen, we had an extremely good year here at Mobile. We opened just before the Euro, the Euro, and since then, in roughly half a year, we managed to service over one million passengers. This is a rate of growth that's unprecedented among all those, all the airports that are in Poland. And all of those passengers were serviced safely. Nobody ever got hurt. And most of them, the vast majority of them, were, were very happy with the service that we delivered. Now we are in a difficult situation, but we know how to deal with it. We have a trusted partner that we will be working with to resolve the problems, and we will reopen as soon as possible, and we shall continue the great service that we've been providing so far, and continue to grow. I thank you, and I'm ready to take your questions now. Yes, sir? I have a question, and do you have a plan B? Uh, what happens if those plans that you have will not will not be I don't know fulfilled and uh, the the airport will be closed longer than you expect? Our plan is to make the airport safe again, safe and secure again, as soon as possible. Whatever time it takes, it is in our interest and in the interest of our passengers and partners to make to open it as quickly as we can, but without compromising safety. This is the only plan we have, and this is the only possibility. We will fix what needs fixing, and we'll have it done very soon. Yes, ma'am? So, could you please just tell us how often does it happen that uh, the airport that has been actually given to the use is being closed, so like in a half a year from, from the, mm, in just in half a year, right? And the second question would be, so if it is about, if it is as much about the safety, then the president of, for example, Warsaw wouldn't allow us to go out of, to go out of, go out of the street because she would be afraid of us, you know, being hit by a car or something, you know, falling out of the building. So it's, it was a lovely story, but I kind of don't believe it that 
it's about because it seems more about fixing than about giving actual services to the customers to what you know where your reliable customers, you know. Obviously the situation is as, as much an inconvenience for us as for our passengers and everyone at the airport. Like I said, we do want to make it safe again and be back in business again. How often this happens? I'm not really certain. We could probably look back at the history of, of construction alone. But it uh, doesn't really matter for us. It, what matters for us is that we continue to work on it, that we fix it. We still won't know why it happened. And this is part of our work right now and our work with Edward to see what exactly happened, why are the runways crumbling, and how we can secure it for the future. So, about the streets, and your second question. Like I said, we're much safer flying than we are with cars. So, if you're concerned about going by cars or, or having problems in the street, I do advise you to keep an eye on our website and see where we are open and then come fly with us somewhere. Sir. Got a question? Uh, yes, I have a question about the compensation because obviously <laughs> it's going to be more expensive to start uh, up to to take off from the Okenshi Airport than from the modern airport, and I was wondering who's taking care of that, who's actually paying for the difference? Is it the airlines? Is it the owner of the modern airport, or is it someone else? Whoever is buying whoever is buying tickets with their airlines make some transaction with their airlines. So for regular passengers, it's still the same relationship between the airline because we are Ryanair or any other of the airlines that have been using our airport and seeing whatever pricing they, they adjust. The pricing doesn't have that much to do with, with what we charge here at the airport or how we, how we uh, work with the airlines. So to get an exact response, I would advise everyone to just contact their airlines and see. I'm pretty sure that the tickets which were bought previously will not change in price. Those that will be bought in the coming future, that really depends on the partners, how they can handle it. Yes, sir. Um, I'm rep representing here a big group of local businesses, and we will operate uh, parking lots around the airport. I mean, soon, in next month, most of us will be out of business. I mean, who's going to pay for I mean, you have to pay for that. You as a journalist are representing a, a group of constructors. In any case, every, every single person, this has just been announced. This is just fresh. I just invited you to make a statement on how we can resolve this for the public. But the second step, what we're taking, is, is to meet with everyone who has been working with us at the airport, all the shop owners, all of the parking owners, and people running it, and see how we can work with them so that they minimize their losses or avoid them altogether, and how we can resolve it with them. This is a matter that we really want to discuss with the people that have made this airport possible, that have been giving services to people who have been using it, either parking or shopping. And we want them to have a better business experience. So if I got this right, you're going to pay for that? Unfortunately, we're out of time. <laughs> <laughs>